This is an animated depiction of the direct lateral interbody fusion. The incision is made on the side just above the pelvis. A small incision is made and the tissue is opened without cutting any muscle. The spine is accessed behind the abdominal contents which are retracted out of the way for the approach. An access probe is inserted through the psoas muscle using spinal monitoring to avoid injuring any nerves. Once the probe is in place, a guide wire is inserted and the tissue is gently dilated to retract the muscles out of the way. This allows for the placement of a viewing port which is inserted over the dilators and directly down to the spine. The spinal monitoring is used again to make sure there are no nerves in the field. A holding pin is placed in the bone to keep the viewing port in place during the procedure. A light source is added to give excellent visualization of the spine. An opening is made in the disc and the disc material is removed. As the material is removed, the opening is enlarged to allow for the rest of the disc material to be removed and the end plates of the vertebra to be prepared for the fusion. This involves the use of several different types of instruments all being placed through the same small opening. The bony end plates are then prepared for the fusion removing all cartilage. The implant with bone graft is then inserted through the opening, allowing for the spine to be distracted at the disc space, again under direct visualization. The port is then removed and the incision is closed. Spinal instrumentation can then be added, again through a minimally invasive approach, giving a strong construct that will allow quick and early mobilization.